As whispers of an HBO Max Harry Potter TV series for 2025 grow louder, we figured we'd have a crack at recasting those legendary roles with the help of Midjourney. Let's begin with Hermione Granger. From her very first appearance, Hermione Granger's defining feature was her very bushy hair and rather large front teeth, descriptors that encapsulated her initial image in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Her brown eyes, often alight with intelligence and determination, mirrored her boundless passion for knowledge. As Ron once described her, Hermione is the brightest witch of her age, a trait that transcended her physical appearance and defined her character throughout the series. After Madame Pomfrey's deft hand reduced the size of her teeth following a run-in with a hex in their fourth year, Hermione's look subtly shifted. Yet her essence remained the same sharp, smart, loyal Hermione, a character whose inner beauty and brilliance always shone brighter than any spell could enhance. Draco Malfoy Draco, the only son of the prominent Malfoy family, is marked by his slicked-back platinum blonde hair a trait synonymous with his pure-blood lineage, as noted in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. His cold, pale, pointed face, often wearing a smug smirk, echoes his upbringing's elitism and his initially disdainful attitude towards those he deemed lesser. His eyes, the colour of cold, hard, grey steel, mirror his sharp wit and cunning, traits that often masked his internal struggles. Despite his well-tailored robes signifying his family's wealth, his demeanor couldn't completely hide the pressure and fear he experienced, especially in the later parts of the series, revealing a troubled boy behind the proud Malfoy facade. Ron Weasley As one of the seven Weasley siblings, Ron's flaming red hair and freckles make him instantly recognizable. His physical features are described as tall, thin, and gangling, with freckles, big hands and feet. His blue eyes, often wide with surprise or twinkling with mischief, reflect his heartfelt loyalty and inherent sense of humour. Over the years, Ron's growth is evident not just in his increasing height, a point remarked on by Fleur Delica in The Goblet of Fire, but also in his evolving personality. Ron's physical transformation is intrinsically linked with his maturation, demonstrating the depth and authenticity of his character in the unfolding Wizarding Saga. Ginny Weasley. First introduced in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets as a small girl with bright brown eyes and flaming red hair, Ginny's physical appearance is a testament to her fiery spirit and Weasley heritage. Over time, she transformed into a very pretty girl, as Harry noted in The Half-Blood Prince, her attractiveness acknowledged by many, including Dean Thomas. Despite her physical allure, it's her strength and formidable magical skills, like her excellent bat bogey hex, that truly define her, making her a standout character in the series. Sirius Black Before his incarceration in Azkaban, Sirius was remembered as handsome with tousled black hair, reflecting his rebellious and vibrant youth. His stay in Azkaban, however, saw his appearance deteriorate drastically. His gaunt and stooped figure, long, Matted hair, and a face that was sunken and waxy gave him an almost skeletal appearance, as Harry described him in The Prisoner of Azkaban. After his escape from Azkaban, the sparkle in his grey eyes and his trademark grin often resurfaced, hinting at the resilient marauder spirit within. Going from a striking young man to an Azkaban hardened prisoner, and finally to a brave fighter for a cause he believed in. Nymphadora Tonks Better known simply as Tonks, this bright and vivacious witch was young and pretty, with a constantly changing appearance due to her being a metamorphmagus, having the ability to change her appearance at will. Most often, she was seen with her signature bright bubblegum pink hair, reflecting her quirky, vibrant personality. Yet this could shift in an instant, reflecting anything from a playful mood with electric blue hair to a more somber demeanor with mousy brown locks. Noted for her clumsiness, Tonks's demeanor and unique style of dress, often complete with band t-shirts and jeans, challenged the traditional image of an aura or a member of the Order of the Phoenix. Rubeus Hagrid Standing at twice as tall as a normal man and at least five times as wide, Hagrid's impressive size made him instantly recognizable within the wizarding world, as first described in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. 
His wild and unruly black hair and beard hid most of his face, yet couldn't conceal his expressive, beetle black eyes twinkling with warmth and kindness. Hagrid's appearance might have been intimidating to those who didn't know him, but for those who did, he was a beacon of comfort, courage, and, above all, friendship in the magical chaos that often engulfed Hogwarts. <laughs> Lily Potter Lily, she was a knockout, Hagrid once said, acknowledging the enchanting beauty and extraordinary talent of Lily Potter. As a muggle-born witch, her life was a symbol of love, sacrifice, and resilience. Aberforth Dumbledore referred to her as the girl with bright red hair, a striking feature reflecting her spirit. The series often repeats, you have your mother's eyes, highlighting Lily's lasting presence in her son Harry, evident in his identical bright green eyes and unshakable courage. Despite her tragic end, her sacrifice forged a protective charm for Harry, with her legacy continuing to echo throughout every turn of the page. Severus Snape As the potion's master at Hogwarts, Snape is described in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone as having greasy black hair, a hooked nose, and cold black eyes, creating an aura of sinister intrigue around him. His sallow skin and the permanent frown etched onto his face further enhanced this image of an unwelcoming, enigmatic character. Despite his unapproachable exterior, Snape's sharp eyes and unique, austere appearance betray the intense emotions and profound complexities beneath his stern facade, mirroring his role as one of the most enigmatic and deeply complicated characters in the series. Neville Longbottom When readers first encounter Neville in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, he's depicted as a round-faced boy, with a tendency to be clumsy and forgetful. His appearance, notably his large, round pink face and short, plump body, underlines his initial lack of confidence and his struggle to fit in. By the Deathly Hallows, Neville's transformation into a bolder, more determined figure signifies his metamorphosis from a timid boy to a valiant member of Dumbledore's army, fiercely holding his own in the Battle of Hogwarts. Tom Marvolo Riddle In his Hogwarts years, Tom Riddle was described as handsome with jet black hair, dark eyes, and pale skin, a charismatic young man who could charm anyone, as mentioned in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. His aristocratic and sophisticated bearing was noted by those who knew him, like Horace Slughorn, who frequently lauded his charismatic persona. <laughs> Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Often described as the spitting image of his father with his mother's eyes. As Mr. Ollivander once observed, you have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Harry is also remembered by his wild, untamed hair, as black as a blackboard, as Uncle Vernon would grouse, an inherited trait from his father. His hair, sticking up at the back, despite all attempts to flatten it, truly set him apart. The unmistakable feature, however, remains the thin scar on his forehead that was shaped like a bolt of lightning. The consequence of a failed killing curse, it stood as a chilling reminder of his first encounter with Voldemort the Dark Lord. In the wizarding world, these features combined made him instantly recognizable, painting the portrait of a hero who was just as remarkable as the journey he embarked upon.